This video is about scanning in Windows. We've made a separate video for Mac users. We'll select the correct Windows driver for your scanner, explore SmartScore scanning interface and image editor, and look at some recognition options and defaults. To select the proper Windows driver, you must first close the task window, then go to File, Scan Music, select Scanner. You'll be prompted to select WIA, or Windows Image Acquisition Drivers, first. A list of all scanner drivers installed to your machine will appear. Select the driver corresponding to your scanner that begins with the letters WIA. To scan from inside SmartScore, push the Scan button in the middle of the top toolbar or navigator palette. You can also select Scan from the File menu. Your scanner will begin by making a low-resolution pass to create a preview of your first page of music. In the preview window, you are able to adjust what you want to appear in the final scan by adjusting the black bounding box or cropping tool. Generally, you'll want to accept the defaults, then push the final scan button. Once a full resolution pass is completed, you will be asked if you want to scan another page. If you're done, just push Finish. You'll be prompted again to start the recognition process or open your scanned file in the image editor as we are doing here. SmartScore's image editor includes some very useful tools you can use to fix issues with the image prior to recognition. Here we're using the DSKU tool. Simply drag a line along a staff line to straighten the page. We use the selector tool activated by the O key to rearrange or delete sections of the image. Notice that chord symbols appear below the staff line, which is unusual. SmartScore expects them above the staff line. We'll reposition these later after recognition. You'll first be prompted to save the edited image. Here we're giving it a new name. The file will then appear in the list of pages to be recognized in the Begin Recognition window. You can preview each page to ensure everything's okay first. In general, accept these defaults, but depending on the content of the score and what you want out of recognition, options can be changed. Recognition only takes a few seconds. Another set of dialogues will appear. These defaults can be useful, especially to power users, but in general, you will simply accept them as they are. Once completed, you will see a split screen with the original scan in yellow on top and SmartScore's recognized version on the bottom. They should appear nearly identical. If not, something is probably wrong with scanner settings. You can see the time signature was offset by one measure for some reason. We will hold the control button down, click on the time signature, delete the symbol, and reinsert it at the beginning. We will now relocate the chord symbols above the corresponding staff lines using the selector tool, activated again by the O key to highlight a region of the score. Holding the shift button down will now activate the nudge mode. Every little yellow box is a handle that can be grabbed by the mouse and moved. Here we are moving the selected group simply by dragging the control handle of one chord symbol. Notice also that the SmartScore automatically converted chord names to guitar fret diagrams. If you don't want guitar frets to show, they can be turned off under the View menu and Show.